The U.S. Navy is preparing new guidelines for pilots on how to report sightings of UFOs. The military reports there have been strange sightings of unauthorized or unidentified aircraft over its airspace in recent years, though no confirmed encounters with anybody from some other place. But the Navy is updating its process so that investigators can look into each individual report. Our national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live at the Pentagon. Hey, Jen. Hi, Shep. Well, the Pentagon closed its office that dealt with UFO sightings in 2012 when Congress, in essence, stopped funding it. That office was called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. Now, after a series of unusual encounters by Navy jets, like this one in 2017, showing an F-18 Super Hornet encountering an unidentified object, the Navy has decided it needs to codify how its sailors and pilots record such unexplained events in case these flying objects are, in fact, some kind of advanced aircraft sent by the Russians or Chinese to spy on the U.S. military. In essence, the U.S. Navy and Pentagon are trying to destigmatize reporting what they call unexplained aerial phenomena. Today, the Navy issued a statement, quote, the Navy is updating and formalizing the process by which reports of any such suspected incursions can be made to the cognizant authorities. A new message to the fleet that will detail the steps for reporting is in draft. In response to requests for information from congressional members and staff, Navy officials have provided a series of briefings by senior naval intelligence officials, as well as aviators who reported hazards to aviation safety. For many years, it was considered a career ender to report these unexplained encounters, so many military personnel had downplayed them, Shep. Is there anything to the timing of this? Well, since 2014, there have been an increasing number of encounters. Most of them are suspected drones. After the 2017 F-18 incident and the release of this Navy video showing the pilot's reaction to the strange aerial encounter, the Pentagon established an office inside the Defense Intelligence Agency to study these recent phenomena at the urging of several U.S. senators who set aside $25 million for the new office. Among the incidents closely studied was an aerial incursion involving the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier strike group, which lasted several days and involved what pilots described as aircraft that flew in a manner that defied physics. Politico reporter Brian Bender broke the news of the Navy's new guidelines for reporting UFOs today. Shepard. Jennifer, thank you.